The Christmas season is upon us, and I'd like to say right from the get-go, a Merry Christmas from my family to yours, and I certainly believe that this will be a season where God will reveal himself in the wonderful way in which he did that very, very first Christmas, as recorded in the scriptures. Please join me right here on Sitam Church Online. My name is Reverend Kwame Rubadiri, as we look again into the Christmas story. In the Gospel according to Luke, uh, Luke records for us uh, the steps that led to a number of issues and, uh, and events that led to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. It was actually in fulfillment to a prophecy, a series of prophecies that had been given over hundreds of years before Jesus actually ever came uh, to the earth. We all know the story and uh, it is played out in cantatas around the country, around the world. Christmas programs and the Christmas story itself. That the angel Gabriel, sent from God, came and visited the Virgin Mary and spoke to her a number of very interesting things. And I'd like us to consider just one of them today. One, maybe two of them if time allows. And I'd like to read from the first chapter of the Gospel according to Luke and beginning from verse 26. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Na Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you, blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this is. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. Now, a lot has been said and there's a lot of doctrine and theological teaching about the virgin birth. Uh, but what I'd like us to concentrate on is just that statement, uh, that, that statement of clarification, that statement of direction and purpose that the angel gave to Mary, because she was surprised at his greeting. Why would she be called highly favored and honored by God? And the reason was because she was about to carry in her womb the one who would be called Jesus or Yeshua as recorded in the scriptures. And Yeshua means God saves, Jehovah saves. Jesus was going to be the answer from the very beginning of the problems that faced mankind and when sin came into the world and the enemy tried to bring about a, a complete collapse of God's purpose and plan for creation. Jesus was coming to be that solution. He was coming to save mankind from the sins that had bound us. He was coming to save mankind from all of the terrors of uh, this world and all that had been inflicted by the enemy and from the penalty of sin that was hanging, hanging over our heads for all those years. And so when Mary was received this greeting and was told by the angel that you will bear a son, and not just any son, not just a male child, but indeed the Son of God. Uh, the term is always capitalized in the uh, Bible, uh, indicating that this was different from any other son that was going to come onto the face of the earth but his name would be called Jesus. He would save, he would be the representative of God to bring salvation to the earth. That was not the only thing that Mary was told. It wasn't the only message that she received that day when the angel visited her. And I'd like us to, for the rest of the month as we get closer to the Christmas celebration and to Christmas day itself, to look more deeply at what this actually meant. Now in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 9. The prophet Isaiah prophesies that a son would be given, uh, that a child would be born and a son would be given to bring about the salvation, to bring about light into a world of great darkness. And now, all these hundreds of years later, this prophecy comes to uh, culmination, it comes to fruition as Mary is told 
she is about in a couple more months to bring about the greatest delivery, the greatest birth that the world would ever see, the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who came to save us.